We're going to reassemble this radiator. And the most important thing I can tell you is know it close to where you're going to put the radiator. Because they're heavy. So I have some new all prints. The old ones were uh, pretty much rusted. And I prepped them, I put a nut and a washer on each end of them. Now the nice thing I want to do is I'm going to take a look at these nipples and I'm going to clean them up. And then we'll almost be ready to uh, assemble this. Now the cleaning nipples, I'm just going to use some sandpaper. Alright, I'm just going to sand the outside of these a little bit. And on the other nipple, where it goes in, I'm just going to go ahead and sand that up a little bit. This thing I need to bring it to them all. Okay, I got two more of these to do, and then we'll go to the next step. The next thing I like to do, even though it's absolutely not necessary, I like to use some of this real tough pipe coat. And that's what it's called, real tough. It's the best pipe coat you can get. You can get it, buy some. Um, any, anyway, these are, you don't naturally need pipe them. I put it on for basically myself. Um, these are actually, when you screw this all together, these are actually compressed to make a watertight seal. So, pipe them is absolutely not needed. But I still like to put it on. So I'll finish this up and we'll go ahead and put them together. At this point I've lined up my brand ears. And all I've got to do now is push them together. And then we'll go ahead and put the uh, old friends on. And we'll make good shape. So I'll go ahead and push these together and then we'll go take the next step. Okay, next we're going to feed our oil thread through the holes in the radiator. And there's another hole on the other side. It'll come out there, I hope. Oh. Okay, we went through that hole. Now I always leave the oil thread low on one side. And I have the nut and washer on this side. So we'll go ahead and put all four of those in. And then we'll tighten from the one side. Okay, I just snug these uh, nuts up a little bit so I can pick the rounding in up. You'll have better access with my presser wrench. Now what I'll do is I'll evenly tighten these up. And we'll give them a good snug so they're nice and tight. We have to actually draw the rat of your back together. So as we're doing that, we want to watch in between here. We want that calf to kind of disappear for us. So, I'm going to go ahead and snug these up and give them a good tightening and we'll see how that um, pulls together. You can see that our gap there has all but disappeared and I tighten it up with a socket. After that I cut it off with a hacksaw and our right here is almost ready to go. Now, I'm just going to show you what I do here. I don't like to cut it until I have it snug up to where I want it. So I have a pair of channel locks to do that. Let's suck it on it. Now, they knew some tools that they had, but
Well, there's when it's coming up. A little at a time. Now, if it gets too tight, the uh, channel logs will slip on the socket. So you don't break your own print. So I'll continue that. We'll get them snugged up. I'll continue, I'll cut them with a hacksaw. And I still see we have to tighten up our model a little bit. When I'm done with that, all I do is take a hacksaw and cut them. And that's it. After that, your radiator's ready to go.